book me. I do. I, I, I have. Do you do parties? Yeah, I do parties. <laughs> balloon uh, animals. Uh huh. Balloon animals. Very bad balloon animals, and I do bad improv. So that's my calling card. And I'll and I'll play the trumpet for you for five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. You're gonna get people tweeting you about that now. I five dollars. Uh, yeah, it gives you a choice of two songs, Hot Crust Buns and uh, The Ants Go Marching In. What will you do for $10,000? <laughs> okay. $10, um, I'll play uh, 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 a Katy Perry song. Cool. Fireworks. On trumpet. Who wants to hear that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a singer would want you to accompany them. Oh. Like my friend Bree here. <laughs> yeah. um, has the show... Has the show changed at all, or like did I see what everyone else saw for the past two weeks? You saw pretty close where we saw. Um, we made a couple cuts. Uh, and some adjustments within the sketches, but like it's pretty much the show. Um, yeah. What, what's cool? I mean, there's so many sketches that didn't make it in that we all love. It's like we could do, we could do, uh, you know, a show three times over. If we want. But, uh, do it. Yeah. Annual thing at Second City and just use the old one. Right? I mean, that'd be cool. Why not? <laughs> Why not? You're a yes man, right? I am a yes Especially man. Except when it comes to improv. Yeah. It's got me in trouble being a yes man, but uh, one of us totally made a movie about it. Starting to carry. Who people have you compared you to? Have you heard that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, How do you feel about it? I mean, I, it's cool. It's fucking cool. I mean, because he's cool. I, yeah, I'd have to say he's one of my, you know, idols. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's weird and cool. What is your favorite sketch from Airport from, or oh. one got cut? Oh, one that got cut? Or one that got well, cut, either I, way. Um, I love the Eagles. <laughs> I mean, I want to I live in that place. I want to be in the 1800s scheduling a dinner for an Eagle to come to. <laughs> I want to be there. I want to be that man. What's that? Yes, I want to be Mr. Bennett. It's just a lovely life he has. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's about to lose a daughter, but you know, you know that's fine. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand pounds a year. Oh, it's so funny. And that, I mean, that's the only one that I come really close to cracking up. I can't hold a straight face. Like that. I think it's amazing that Walker can talk and actually say words while he's. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's it's a delight. It's a delight. Uh, the one that got cut. Yeah, one that got cut. He has to give us the scene because we don't know it. So. Yeah. No, there's one. It got cut because it's uh, because of the, the the PC thing. Okay. And I I don't even know how to walk around. It, it's a set. It's a set. Okay. It, 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 the sketch is. I don't know. Are we, is this good? Is this bad? To give away ideas. I'm pretty, basically, Chris came up with a sketch where he uh, he works with uh, with kids, with special needs kids, and uh, and he's sitting down for an interview, and um, basically the guy says, uh, you know, just be yourself, talk naturally in front of the camera about what you do. Um, we'll fix it in post. Everything. It's great. 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 So the minute he starts talking and answering questions, he can't put a sentence together, and he starts talking like a, 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 a kid with very special needs. And it's so funny. Chris just, it's its the most funny thing I've ever seen. And the, and the joke, and you know, the guy's like, no, 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 cut, 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 just be yourself. It's like, oh, you can fix that in post, right? No, no, I have nothing for it. And it's, I mean, it is, it's a pretty simple joke, but it just, yeah, I, I, it made me cry. I mean, okay. Chris couldn't do anything. So, um, LeakyCon was probably your first experience with, like, a large fandom thing. And you had, what, three days to rehearse the three and a half hour show that you guys put on? How was that? <laughs> um, a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think, how was it? It was, I really remember <laughs> no, I no. It's all kind of a blur. It is kind of a blur. Same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, while you guys were having fun, you were just all really. Surprised. I was working the whole time. Oh, you were working. That was nothing. Um. No, 
yeah, it was stressful. And I wasn't even in that very much. Uh, yes, but you were amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I, it was weird. That stage was very odd. Because, we, you know, we never set foot on it, really, until our entrance. I was talking, about, I, I, was talking I, I think I was talking to Lord about it. It just like, felt like stepping on foot to this alien environment in front of all these people. And in total black, but there's you know, this thousands of people out there. And uh, it just, I, I thought I was on the moon. It was very odd. And the rehearsal process, you know, I never at one point thought, felt secure that we had, you know, got it done. And I don't think anybody did. So it was just a very, but it, it had a ton, I mean, it was so much fun. So much fun. Um, that's the song you sang. Did Clark write that? Or yes. was that, okay, so the fan contest thing didn't happen. The way it was no, happened. yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I think they just really like Clark's song, which is, it's, it's an it's awesome song. It's a great song. song. It's so fun. Can we say, yeah, can we yeah. talk about I think, I don't know, can we? I don't know. And wait, are, I don't know if there was any release about you in it. Oh, wait, okay. Like, I've seen, like, the, the, the commercials and stuff. Oh, okay. But I don't think there's been pictures of you or anything. Oh, well, you know, I'm very, it's a very small part of the show, so I don't know. But, it was but I mean, I don't know if I can. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's Are you spoilers. a Harry Potter fan? Uh, 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 no. Okay. Um. So then I, how did they convince you right. that you needed to play this part? Oh, I mean, to be honest, I mean, to be honest, I never, yeah, I never got the books. I like the movies. I like certain movies. Some movies are better than others. Agreed. Um, but how did they convince me to do the part? Because, I mean, because it's, uh, it's a Nick and Matt Lang show. I mean, that's it. I mean, they're, you know, I, you know, yeah, I'll come do a show any time for them. And it was, uh, yeah, easy sell. And... Um, so, I mean, Linky Con was a blur, so you don't have any, like, moments that stand out for you from that? Uh, I mean, I was, I was so, I was so impressed by my friend. I was blown away. I, you know, I actually hadn't really seen some of them performance at college. I was blown away by, by certain people's performance. I was, yeah, I was very happy for a lot of people. I could because it was very much, I mean, I was grateful to be part of it, but it wasn't, a, you know, about me at all. It was about, they'd been at, at three shows for these guys. And it was very, it was very happy. So. Have you seen the other Potter musicals before, like? Yeah. And they've gone through a hell of a journey. Man. Yeah. So, it was cool that, I was grateful to be part of the conclusion of that other journey. Uh, Do you have plans to go to Leaky Con this year? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the... I can't speak for that. Well, I know Star Kid is going. Oh, well, they are? not yeah. you. I don't know. I, I, yes, I mean, according to I'm Pat asking, Brady, y'all are going to be there. <laughs> well, then if Pat says I'm going to be there, then I'm going to be there. Uh, any other moment? There's just a lot of fun. Do you have a question to ask? Oh, no, I have a question. I, was, I didn't go to the front, unfortunately. Really cool guy. Yeah, that was cool. He, uh, yeah, he's a really cool guy. He's really chill, and uh, yeah, he was just really normal, normal dude. Yeah, I saw the video from when you, when you were like, "Oh, that question makes me." Sick. You had the candy on you, waiting for that question. Yeah, I was at Geneva. <laughs> I was really excited for the first day. Uh, yeah, I got prepared. It'd be kind of cool if I didn't know. Right. Which candies? Um, I heard that you that some candy didn't make the cut for Holy Musical. Oh yeah, there were a couple of them. So there are a few puns out there for people to discover on their own if uh, they want. I don't actually really remember the ones that were cut, but there were a couple. Um, but on the original script, they literally came up with all the ones you can do. I mean, I'd be and they, you know they left no stone unturned. So I can't believe that there's ones out there that they didn't touch.